Aye, aye. Right, well, I've got all the cows in now. Every, every animal's in, in the, inside the farm, look. There's some just below me. So, brought them in. The last heifers came in on the 23rd. 27 animals. So we've got them around the farm. I'm gonna have a little, give you a little tour of the cattle in the shed. But let's just have a look. Look, here's the dry cows here. I'm just chucking some straw down to them. Put, put some of this over here. It's quite an easy concept, really, look. That's the easiest way of doing it. The best thing is if you chuck that down there, it breaks up a bit as it falls, and then you just spread it around. Right, I'm gonna chuck a little bit more of this down. Ugh. And then, let's get down and have a look at the dry cows. Right, I'm in the dry cow shed now. So where you, I think I've messed up. Where you saw me chucking that straw over, I got distracted because Jack Kate turned out and he's calling me. Um, I was chucking the straw over. Either my flipping camera bag went down into the straw, the, the bag that this little camera goes in, or I've lost it somewhere else. But the problem is, it's got all my batteries in it for this little camcorder and all the stuff with it. I've got a spare camera bag, but I haven't got five batteries spare. Oh God, if I've lost it in the straw, it gives us a chance to look in the shed, but I didn't really envisage chucking it down here. Is it under here, I wonder? I'll never find it if it is. Oh. Please turn up. God. Oh. Anyway, 75, still ain't calf. She's bagged up a bit though, look at her. We talked about it before I brought them in. She is gonna, I've got a bed down that bit in a minute. She is gonna calf soon. She was due on the 19th of December. I'm pretty sure she's held to another service. Look at her, she's definitely bagging up. Look, she's got a bit of slime out the back of her. She's gonna calf soon. Pretty cool. Right, please look, if you find my bag, let me know. Right, I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to have a little hunt for this bag and then I'll, we're going to have a look at the others. Oh, it. what have I done with it? We'll go and have a look at the other cows in a minute. I'm just going to have a look to see if it's fallen down the other side. I'll report back to you in a minute. Well, that's really annoying. I've been retracing my footsteps and I still can't find my camera bag. I've either put it down somewhere and forgot where I put it, which is quite possible, or it's fallen out and it's on the ground wherever I was working. So, I'll have a look, another look for that in a minute. Just go and see the other heifers we brought in the other day. On the 23rd we brought these in, so let's go and have a look. There's a little bunch in the backyard, what we call the backyard here. Um, this is the yard I want to put a roof on. You'll see why we need a roof on it when we get there. Now the weirdness of the land level on here is that this bit's higher than the yard by quite a lot, which is really good because we can just drop bales in. So we've got these here. And if you look at this, all right, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get down in the yard. Let me fall head first in the cow poo. So, so we, we got the wrong ratio of roof to yard space here. So we got all this, got this bedding area, and then we've got a big yard area. Now it's all gonna be hopefully sorted in the spring. We've got planned permission for a roof over this yard. Let's get planning because of the listed building. Uh, the cost of that has gone through the roof. I mean, the bloke who's doing the work said to me, I'm gonna to have to come back in and quote for you in April because it's gonna be seriously more money than when we thought about doing it in 2020. But you can see why we need it. Look, I mean, this is just dead space, really. And if we, can, if we can have a roof over it, we can bed that down and these will be a lot happier and we won't be so much liquid muck. Look at, anyway, I'll just sort of show you, look, look at Warty here. Poor old Warty. Look at that. All right, Warty. Oh, poor girl. Look at you. None of the others have got it. 
So there's nothing to worry about. These um, every now and then these heifers pick up warts. It must be something. I think it's a virus, and it and they basically they look terrible for a short period of time, and then the, over time the warts just disappear. In fact, I've got a couple of my hands. Look, can you see one there? Just a little one that I think I've caught off the cows. They've been with me a long time. It's like an old friend, Mr. Warty. But there's Mrs. Warty over Miss Warty over there. Wartiest cow on the farm. They always look bad, but she'll be right. You know, by summertime, these will probably all disappear. They just fall off. Let's have a closer look in the outside in the, more in the daylight. Have you seen my camera bag, Mrs. Warty? Miss Warty. Here we go. Look. They're not going to stay still for me, are they? Oh, look. Well, you get the idea. You can see a massive one under her neck. Look, can you see that? She doesn't like being out here with me. All right. Let's have a little wander around. Uh, let's go and see the other bigger calves. Little calves than these. It's all going stages. So these are the little calves, medium calves. Oh! Let's go and have a look at the silage, silage situation. Quite good for this year, really. Let's go have a look at silage and then we'll look at the young heifers, the bullion heifers, we call them, and then the really young calves. Okay, so here we are in our very simple 1980s system. Our cows self feed silage and they have maize and a bit of protein in the ring feeders there. They're happy enough on that. Look. The silage situation, we're doing really well this year. Can you see behind? We've got plenty of silage forked down in front of them. Self feed with electric fence stop them going too far forward. We've got very good silage. I think it's about 31% dry matter, which is a bit drier than normal, but um, very, the, the um, analysis came back very good on it, so we're very pleased with it. Um, so we got loads. Bearing in mind it's December, we've only got technically maybe three and a half months feeding left to do and we've got plenty of silage. You know some years, I think I've done a video where I've been really concerned about it, about the lack of round bales we got and the uh, lack of silage in the clamp. Well this year it's all good because we had a really good summer last year for bales and we made plenty of bales. I don't think we'll have to buy any in last year, this year. Remember last year we bought in from Farmer P and from someone else. We bought a lot of bales in last year but I'm hoping this year we only to see that. Right. Ooh. Horrible day. It's starting to rain again. Right, let's go have... Oh, it is raining. Right, let's go have a look at the young heifers. Hello. Right. So, let me shut the door. Get the draft out. So, these are our bullying heifers. Hello. Hello. So, these are what we call our bull... Ooh. Why not step? These are what we call our bullion heifers. These are probably 18 months to two, two and a half years old. Some of them are actually in calf, the older ones. The younger ones are about 18 months old and they're just gonna be due to be served by AI in the next month or so. Um, so they're all in here as a batch. They're evenly, look, they're evenly matched in size. The ideal thing to do is put animals of even size together. So the younger ones are out the back. There were a few bigger ones there, but that's because we don't want to crowd this shed too much. Shed-wise, this one here, it would be much better if it was like a dry cow shed with Yorkshire boarding down, the, the boarding with slots on it. You can see what we've got down here is a tin. Like you can see it, it's got damage there, but you can see a ventilated tin there. That, ooh, there's one bull in there, look. What number is that? I'll check that in a minute. So that ventilated tin is not that good really, it doesn't let the air in and you do need air to circulate around the shed. I keep saying we need to change the, York, that to Yorkshire boarding, but it's just time. We keep, you know, it's on the list and it just never gets done. But really, even if we just took one section out and Yorkshire boarded that, it'd be better. Oh God, I will have to get it done. Anyway, we're on silage, rain bell silage. This stuff, this is first cut silage. So when we made the main clamp, we did not get it all in the silage clamp. We put the rest in the round bells, and this is premium silage. Ooh, it smells lovely. Right, my wife won't think that. When I give her my fingers in the face, you go, oh, you stink. Anyway, so these are in here. They're really happy now. So they've only been in since the 23rd. Um, and we're, again, we're gonna be up on bales because, partly because um, they've come in late. They were in on the 8th of December last year and they were on the 23rd this year. So you can see there's quite a difference. Straw there, we just chucked the bales over the side. 
I've got a, well, as we move back, we're going to get more silage in here. I could only put one bale in here at the moment. Once we go back a little bit with this bed in, we'll be able to get two in here and that gives a bit more space. Right, just going to fork this up and then uh, we're just going to have a look at the top lot of calves. And then I've got to go back and search for that flipping camera bag. Walking up better than any workout at the gym, I can tell you that now. I know. I never go to the gym, I ain't gonna, not when I'm doing jobs like this. Right, crack on, let's go and have a look at the other cars. Oh, it's really chucking it down out here now. Oh, we a lot of calves. Right, these are ones that have been weaned from on milk to cake. And these are, there's only four in there. These are quite big actually, but they should have been bang around the backyard, but we thought it was a bit too crowded out and that space was empty. These are more the size you normally keep in here. You can see they're a bit smaller. Uh, probably about three months old. All right. Maybe a little bit older. Um, hello. Hello. This is a shed where I had the leaky water trough, do you remember? Right. So they're just having round bale hay in here at the moment. I've got a few round bales left. So we're using this. Oh, bloody weather. <sighs> Christmas with rain. Right. I, oh, I don't want to go back out there. I've got one day off over the whole of Christmas. One whole day where I'm not working. Let's hope it's not raining that day. Right, I, um, let's just, I'll tell you what, we'll finish. We're just going to have a look at a fresh carver. There's one that carved today. It's got a baby calf with it. We're going to have a look at that. Hello, how are you doing today? You're not very big, are you? Right. What are you moving about? What's up with you? Hey? Oh, you a bit. You need a bit of hay, don't you? I'll get you some. Right. So that one, this one here, little Angus, was just born today. Little baby Angus. All right? Right. She's telling me she wants some hay. I want to get inside, so I'm going to have to help finish off the milking. I'm going to have. Oh, where's that flipping camera bag? I'm more worried about what's in it than uh, than uh, than the loss of the bag because I see all my batteries for this camera. I can see the battery light flashing out. I'm going to get some hay for that cow. I'm off. Oh, I'm all wet. Crack on. Let me find that bag. Fingers crossed. Oh. 